What's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to this new video. Welcome to the new studio setup, by the way. Uh, you know, we switched things around a little bit. We got some guns. We got some green back there finally for Greenlight Shooting and I'm stoked on the way it's looking. So anyways, I've got a very, very exciting video for you today. A video that I've been getting a ton of requests for over the last couple months. That is the vault -Tec RS500i. And you guessed it, RS stands for Rifle Safe. Oh yeah, vault -Tec has finally released a rifle safe and uh, it's living up, man. I'm, I'm absolutely stoked on it. It's everything that I would hope a vault -Tec rifle safe would be. Now, before we get any further into this review, I do wanna mention that this is a sponsored review, but I've been working with vault -Tec for a very long time. I mean, since the beginning of the channel, I've been working with vault -Tec, and, I, and I wouldn't be working with a company that long or, or a product that long if it wasn't a product that I genuinely believe in. And it, Honestly, I use a vault -Tec product every single day. So take it for what it's worth. I, I want to let you know that it is sponsored, but uh, you know, like I said, it's a product I believe in. So let's dive into this review. The first thing I want to talk about is just some tech specs so you can get an idea of, of physically what we're working with here. So, you know, it is a big safe. It's just, it kind of like, if you remember the MXI safe, it's, it's kind of like that. It's just like grown, it's like went through puberty. <laughs> so anyways, the rifle safe, the exterior dimensions, we're looking at 54 inches high, 14 inches wide, and 11.7 inches deep. It's weighing 93 pounds, so it is certainly on the heavier side, but it's not so heavy that you know someone couldn't, with enough determination, come up and just pick that thing up and walk away with it. So it is definitely something you're gonna wanna mount down, and it does come with mounting hardware. Now it is constructed out of progressive formed 14 gauge steel and it has a lithium ion rechargeable battery like a lot of the past safes. They're saying that can last up to six months on low power mode. Now low power mode is just essentially when it's not plugged in. vault -Tec does recommend keeping this safe plugged in at all times. It's got a lot of new features and things like that. So when it's plugged in, it allows you to actually utilize all those new features to their fullest capabilities. Uh, and they do say that when it's plugged in, it's not going to hurt that rechargeable battery at all. So like I said, they recommend keeping it plugged in at all times. Now there are five access points to get into this safe, and this is part of their new Wi-Fi lineup. I'll go more in depth into what that Wi-Fi means, but just know that it means a, an upgraded app and a lot of new features. So first up, we have the good old manual keys in case something happens to the other locks. Uh, then we've got a biometric scanner that'll allow you to use a fingerprint and can hold up to 20 different fingerprints. It's also got the Wi-Fi app that I mentioned that'll allow you to manage your safe from anywhere and get instant notifications. As I mentioned, we'll We'll go more into that in a bit. Uh, you can also use the digital keypad with built-in proximity sensor. There are over 19 million possible combinations. And then finally, they do have the nano smart key capability, which we will go into in a bit as well. All right, if you're curious how this thing ships, I did an unboxing video. I wanna give you just a quick rundown of what you can expect in terms of accessories, what it comes with. So it comes with uh, this instruction manual. You've got a quick start guide going over just the basics of how to get this thing set up, and then an in-depth instruction manual. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into that stuff because that's all stuff you can find on the website and stuff like that. I want to get into actual the you know the nitty-gritty of the the safe itself. Uh, quick overview of the accessories. It comes with a nice little accessories pack here. Now some of them I've already taken out and set up but uh, you can see the the mounting hardware there. This is where the nano key is, uh, the battery and then it comes with uh, just a micro USB cable and wall outlet as well as those two keys. So that's what you can expect to get with the safe itself. Um, now there are additional accessories it comes with in terms of mounting accessories. So let's open this thing up so you can get an idea of what the interior looks like and, and get an idea for how the uh, like modular accessories work. So the interior of the safe is really cool how they have it set up. You can see on the back here, it's just essentially a pegboard setup. Uh, and then the accessories like these, for example, you can see they both have pegs that go into those holes and then there's actually a magnet on the back that keeps it just super sturdy in those positions. So essentially how it's working is, like I mentioned, so this is a, a barrel mount, right? So you've got your AR laying down on the ground, the barrel comes up and it just stabilizes it right there. So with those two pegs, throw them in wherever you want 
and you can see it goes in just like that. It comes stock with two of those barrel mounts and it does come with some extensions. So, you know, maybe you've got an optic on there or something like that and the rifle's sticking out a little bit further. So throw this into, you can see there's two magnets right there, male and female side. And then this just extends it out a little bit further so that if the gun's sticking out from the wall, it'll still hold that barrel nice and tight. And then finally, the other thing that comes stock with the accessories is uh, this is a twin pistol rack. So you can throw two pistols in just like that. Once again, we've just got the pegs right there. Um, but what's nice about it is if you don't wanna throw pistols in there, you don't have pistols on or whatever, you can actually take this foam out. It comes with this little flat piece here, throw that in throw this foam back on, and this becomes two AR mag holders. So that's how I like this. I like this setup just as purely a rifle safe, and then I've got additional mags in there. You can throw these mags on the door for me. Boom, just like that. Now one little quirk I did run into is you have to make sure that you're mounting your uh, accessories on the door if you get the door mounts a little bit closer to the hinge. As you can see when you close this, uh, you just have to make sure that you know, you're keeping that in mind. It's not a big deal, but it does limit some configurations that I had in mind, but you know, it's not a huge deal by any means. So anyways, those are the accessories that come stock with the safe. Now, there are a bunch of extras you can order. So for instance, this is one of my favorites. This is the EDC shelf. So I usually like to have this thing somewhere up top. By the way, on the back here, it's just got these little uh, like hinges. So those go into the holes there. And then just press down just like that. And now you've got a shelf. I love having that shelf. Still plenty of room for rifles down there. The next thing that's nice is, uh, so mounting an AR on the door, I think is really cool. It's really quick to access. How they've got that set up, since obviously you can't just have the buttstock on the ground or something like that since it's moving, um, they've got this right here. So this is actually a stock mount. So same thing on the back here, throw this wherever you want. They've got some Velcro. And then essentially the buffer tube would be sitting right here. The stock's sitting right here and the barrel's facing downwards. So when you open that up, you've got quick access to that rifle, which I think is a really, really dope option. They do have a couple more accessories, but those are the ones I went with. I got a few more barrel mounts and uh, I've noticed depending on size of the rifle, uh, depending on setups, you know, with your optics and things like that, uh, you can get probably anywhere from like three to five rifles in this safe, I'd say. Now, one quirk I do want to mention really quick. This is my Tika long range gun. You can see it's got a big optic. It's a big long gun. And uh, one thing I noticed is I'd like to be able to set the rifles in like this, right? So that you can kind of line up two or three next to each other. But this one's just a little too big with that big optic. You can kind of see the grip is sticking out too far this way. The door just isn't able to, to shut. There's just too much room there. So what ends up happening with a rifle of this size is you need to go this way with it. And then of course I'd have a barrel stabilizer up here, but then another gun would just kind of have to turn sideways up against it or something and lean there. So that's why I'm saying, depending on the size of your rifles, um, you can get you know anywhere from probably three to five. Honestly, if I have this, like for me personally, I probably am just gonna run this in here and I'm gonna run my AR along the door here. So what I really do like though is, how they haven't tied you into you know, a specific interior customization. Like you can set this up however works best for you. It's totally modular and uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of that. One of my favorite things about all vault safes, including the rifle safe, is the aesthetics. This thing is gorgeous. It's very minimalist. It's timeless, black on black with a little bit of silver badge here. I like the digital heads up display. Uh, it's just a good looking safe. And it's something that you can put, you know, in your home in a modern kind of display and have it meld right in. I've got it in the living room here, uh, you know, throw up in the bedroom, whatever you want. And uh, you can really kind of see this safe in your home very easily. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb thumb like maybe some of the other traditional rifle safes might.
So I think this is probably the biggest selling point for this safe, and that's the fact that it's so quick access. There's a lot of quick access handgun safes on the market, you know, things with biometric sensors and, and keypads and stuff like that, but there are very few long gun quick access safes like this. You know, I have my traditional rifle safe once again downstairs, uh, but the fact of the matter is, you know, it's like a manual turning dial, you gotta spin the whole thing, and it's, it's a whole process, you know, 60 to 90 seconds to get into that thing probably, especially in the middle of the night when you can't remember your numbers and there's someone banging down your door. It's just not something you want to deal with. Uh, so the fact that this allows you to have access to a long gun, something like a shotgun, something like an AR, whatever it is, with something like a fingerprint where you don't have to remember a key code or punching in the key code, or as you guys know, I have sweaty hands. I don't want to rely on my sweaty hands and the biometric sensor. Uh, so I love the Smart Key Nano. So this thing, uh, you can actually mount this anywhere. It's just got a sticky on the back. The key itself actually comes out of this. It's two pieces. Here's the mount. Uh, and then this has just got one big button. That's it. So what I do like with my slider safe and stuff like that is you mount this somewhere maybe behind your headboard up top here, somewhere where, where you only know where it's at, somewhere out of the way where other people, you know, are not looking or anything. And you know, you hear something bump in the middle of the night, you reach up, you push that button, and you don't even have to think about opening this. All of a sudden you're open and you've got a shotgun ready to go. And I mean, I don't even need to talk about the advantages of a long gun over a handgun in, in home defense. Watch my home defense video. But uh, you know, the fact of the matter is with a shotgun, it's a lot easier to use as a blunt force weapon. It's a lot easier to use if you've got a fatal funnel to cover that fatal funnel with the spread out of a shotgun. There's a lot of advantages that come with a long gun. And uh, up until now, I haven't really had a good way to have a long gun that uh, you know was quick access in the bedroom. You even you know, like with those magnet mounts or something, yeah, you can mount them up high, but as soon as the kids grow up, I don't know, you have visitors or whatever, it's nice to have this locked away somewhere secure, but also somewhere that's very quick to access for you when you need it most. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, there are five entry points to this safe, and uh, you saw in the last clip probably my favorite, which is that Smart Key Nano. Um, but the other ones are great too. So for instance, we've got the uh, illuminated keypad here. What I really like about it is, you know, in the middle of the night or whatever, you just come near this thing. It's got a proximity sensor, it lights up red so you can see all those numbers clearly. You're not trying to guess which ones are which in the middle of the night. Um, and there are eight different characters, so tons of different possibilities. Uh, there's also a biometric fingerprint sensor, which is now 20% oversized from the previous models. Uh, it's just larger. It, it has some new technology in it, which allows the, the fingerprint to be read a little bit easier. Now, I'm just gonna let you know from my, my subjective experience, my personal experience, I have very sweaty hands. Uh, you might even be able to see it on camera. Uh, no biometric sensor has ever worked for me. In fact, even when I had iPhones and things like that, the Touch ID wouldn't work. I had to go with Face ID. So it's just something that I don't use but it is there if you dig the biometric idea. Uh, there are two manual keys if you want to enter it the old-fashioned way. Uh, then there's the Smart Key Nano, and finally is the app. Now, this is not like their previous models with the Bluetooth app. They've actually upgraded that app to be a Wi-Fi app. It's a completely new app called vault -Tech wi Wi-Fi. Download that, get it set up. It's really easy to, to get this thing set up on your Wi-Fi. It walks you through all the steps needed. Um, and then what's really cool about it is there is a ton of new functionality with this safe, as opposed to the Bluetooth one where you had to sort of be in range, you always had to log in to view your, your safe status and stuff like that. You can now get alerts from anywhere. So uh, say you're at the office or something like that, you know, your kids are at home, they, they're, they're rocking the safe, they try to get in, they put in the wrong keypad, whatever, um, you're gonna get an alert on your phone, which is really dope. There's also a lot of other things like environmental. You can set temperature and humidity thresholds. When it exceeds those things, you can monitor those on the app. When it exceeds those, those numbers, you'll get an alert. Um, there's a lot of different functionality. So for instance, uh, you can enable or disable fingerprints remotely. So, you know, say you're away from home, you've got someone maybe watching the house or something while you're gone, you trust them, obviously. You can enable their fingerprint to work while you are 
gone on vacation or something like that. And as soon as they leave, uh, as soon as you get back home, you can disable that functionality. So a lot of really cool things. You've also got a, a dashboard on a computer, so you can view it on a desktop, on a laptop, or whatever. You don't necessarily just have to have the phone, uh, but it's a really cool setup. Now, there are essentially two ways that this Wi-Fi is running. Number one is fully online, and that's when the safe is plugged in all the time. This thing is ready to send you alerts at any time. The other way is essentially partially online. Online. So this is in low power mode when you've got it unplugged or whatever like that, it's just running on battery. The safe is sort of asleep. So when something happens, when someone puts in the key code or something like that, it wakes the safe up, it jumps online, and then it sends you that alert. This style can also reduce your online footprint. Uh, some people are worried about the safe just always being online for whatever reason. Uh, and if that's something that does concern you, you can run in this mode where you'll still get those alerts. It's just the, the safe itself isn't online at all times. Uh, and one last thing to keep in mind is the safe is still fully functional. If you don't want to have the Wi-Fi set up whatsoever, you don't have to. You can still utilize uh, you know, four of those entry modes. You can do the biometric, the, the keypad, the keys obviously, the smart key nano. You don't have to be hooked up with the app to use those things and for the safe to be fully functional. It's just if you want to add those Wi-Fi features on and that you set it up with the app. Super simple. Uh, but that way I, I like that they've given you all those different options. Um, and, and the app is pretty cool. It gives you full functionality like I mentioned, a lot of different features. You can, you know, adjust the brightness of the light. You can adjust, you can view history logs of, of every time that someone's accessed it and how they've accessed it, what method they've used. So you can really keep a good eye on your safe. The other thing they took away is you can no longer open the safe remotely from your app. So yeah, overall, I think the Wi-Fi is a super cool addition to the functionality. It brings a ton of new capabilities to this thing, and it just it makes the safe an overall powerhouse. The Bluetooth app, to be honest, was just something I really didn't use that often because of the hassle of being in range, of logging in with my phone, and then having them hook up right then and there. I like the fact that it's always online. I'm gonna keep this thing plugged in all the time and run that fully online mode. Now, another thing is this is the Rifle Safe, the RS500i. Additionally, if you remember one of the last videos I did when I reviewed the MXI, uh, it's kind of the boxy safe, they've upgraded that one to now include Wi-Fi features. Not only does it have all the Wi-Fi features we just mentioned, it also has a 20% oversized fingerprint sensor uh, with their new technology in it. So if you dig the idea of, of those Wi-Fi capabilities, but you don't necessarily need a long gun safe, uh, I think the MXI is a fantastic option. It's a safe that I genuinely use day to day. I keep things like cash in it, passports, that kind of thing, as well as a couple pistols, extra mags, stuff like that. Uh, it's a safe that I, I, I really, really do enjoy having. I think it's a great size. Um, so the fact that they've added those, uh, you know, those upgraded capabilities to that safe, um, two huge thumbs up for me. Okay, so there we have it. My review on the vault Rifle Safe, the RS500i. Price-wise, this thing is coming in at $1,000. $250, and then that upgraded MXI is coming in at $599. Now those are with the fingerprint sensors. I think that the, uh, the non-fingerprint version of the MXI is something like 520. I'm not even sure if they offer this without the fingerprint sensor, but if they do, it's you know it's gonna be a little bit less than that 1250. But 1250 is what you're running for this exact setup, and uh, honestly, that's the way I would go. It already comes with that smart key nano, which I think is a, is a hands down no brainer. If you're going with uh, additional accessories, you saw a couple different setups in there. I personally like that EDC shelf a lot. That's one I use a lot. Um, so just depending on what you like, I love the modularity of it. I love how it kind of conforms to whatever you need it to be. So yeah, $12.50 for this bad boy. I do have a coupon code. You guys know, as I mentioned, I've been working with vault for a long time. Uh, that coupon code will be down in the video description below. Check that out if you are interested and you'll get a free t-shirt and a free limited edition GLS vault patch. And I think it's any vault purchase on vault website you can use that code on. So. Go check that out if it's something you're interested in. Uh, I, if you dug this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you like this safe, let me know what you think about the safe down in the comments below. But I'm a big fan of it. I'm going to be definitely using this thing every day. And uh, I'm excited to keep you guys updated as we go with it and let you know how I'm rocking it, what kind of you know configurations I've got going, and things like that. Uh, if you're interested to see those kinds of things, make sure to follow the Instagram, at GL Shooting. Uh, that's where I'll post stories and stuff like that, you know, getting out the guns, reconfiguring it from time to time and stuff like that. So that's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you next time on Greenlight Shooting. Thanks so much for watching.